So Meta AI has introduced Llama 2, uh, the next generation of open source large language model. And the best part is that it is free for research and commercial use. So you can actually download the model. So there is a waitlist over here, uh, not a waitlist basically, uh, but you can actually enter your details over here. And uh, you know, uh, there is a form which needs to be filled over here. And once you fill the form, uh, you can actually download the model. Right. Um, so you can give your details over here and agree to this uh, agreement over here. Uh, you can accept the terms and conditions. And I got access to this models within an hour. OK, so you can do that. Right now, what is special about Llama 2? Llama 2 was trained on 40 percent more data than Llama 1. It has doubled the context length. So context has length has increased to 4096. Right. It has been trained on 2 trillion tokens. There are 7 billion, 13 billion and 70 billion uh, parameter models available. There is also the fine tuned version of these models for chat. OK, and uh, these models have been fine tuned using your reinforcement learning with human feedback. OK, so it has been fine tuned. Uh, uh, the fine tuned models have been trained over 1 million human annotations. OK, uh, using uh, reinforcement learning with human feedback. And Llama 2 outperforms other open source language models on many external benchmarks, including reasoning, coding, proficiency, and knowledge tests. So here are the results of Llama 2. They are much better than Falcon 40 billion or any of the other open source models. OK, so that is what they are saying over here. Right. Uh, and they are currently part, they have, uh, uh, you know, got feedback from a lot of partners, which include Microsoft, NVIDIA, uh, you know, AWS, and a lot of other partners which are present over here. So they have got early feedback uh, regarding um, this particular model. Okay. And uh, we can actually try it out, right? Uh, so there is this hugging face space where, uh, you know, you can actually try it out. So I tried it out over here by asking like, uh, you know, my prompt was uh, what is machine learning? And then it gave this explanation for machine learning over here. Uh, it gives a, a small brief description about what is machine learning. Uh, it does a good job over here. And then I asked like I went to a shop. I bought 10 pencils for rupees 100 and 20 pencils for rupees 400. How much money did I spend? OK, this is a um, reasoning problem and here it says that you have spent a total of rupees 500 which is very correct over here it does it says here is the calculation 10 pencils for rupees 100 20 pencils for rupees 400 and then it sums up and says total amount spent then i asked it to write a product description based on a below text so i pulled up some um, you know text on tesla model 3 from wikipedia and i put it over here and I asked it to write a product description. OK, so it says here introducing the Tesla Model 3, the electric car that is changing the game with a sleek four door sedan design and a battery powered engine. So here also it does a very good job. Maybe I'll ask it to write a poem. Write a poem on AI. Let's see what it does. So this model over here is a 70 billion um, parameters chat basically the fine-tuned Llama 2 model. OK. So it's nice that they have released all this for commercial use. OK, it gives an input validation inputs must have less than 1024 tokens. OK, maybe I will clear and then I will start again. Write a poem on AI. OK. So here is the poem. Artificial intelligence, a marvel of our time, a creation of human ingenuity, a fear of the mind, a machine that can learn, adapt and grow, a tool that, tool that can help us and make our lives flow. I like this poem actually. So there is this flow and um, you know kind of rhythm in this poem. So yeah. So it can be actually tried out for various tasks like say summarization, right? Maybe I will try to, uh, you know, write a quick summarization of, uh, wait, let me copy this text. Let's try out that as well. Up to here maybe. And let's see. 
write a summary write a concise CAC concise summary for for the below text okay let's just maybe make it a little bit bigger yeah mm, okay because the token length is more okay maybe i will clear and i will say write a concise summary summary for below text okay yeah so here it is generating the summary right there is also this uh, replit app where you can actually try it out uh, i'm not sure what is the model behind this app uh, what is the llama 2 model whether it is a 7 billion or it is a th uh, like you are uh, 70 billion so i'm not sure of that over here in that replit app 7 13 or 70 billion you can also try this out okay so yeah so here it has actually generated the summary for this big article right it's doing a very good job uh, on first look okay and as per the benchmarks as well uh, i have access to these models so i would want to probably try it out and see how it works on other tasks as well i'll come up with more videos and for more use cases as well so this was a short video on llama 2 okay i hope this video is useful for you i'll be putting the link to llama 2 i'll be putting the link to this hugging face page where they talk about uh, you know the llama 2 models uh, and also this article llama 2 is here uh, where they talk about uh, you know how llama was trained and uh, you know some more details and how you can actually fine tune llama how you can actually use inference endpoints and so on okay the demo space is also embedded over here you can try here as well okay i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video